In this video, we'll be going over the VDM merge. VDM stands for Variable Data Merge. And this is a nice little tool for merging your variable data and your static data to create your printed pieces for mailing. Uh, this is going to be a two-part system. We're going to have the variable data and we're going to have the static images. Now it's important to remember about our variable data is this needs to be in a PDF format. The size of the, it's helpful to make it the size that you want it to be. So if it's a number 10 envelope, you're going to be printing to put it, uh, your PDF as, as the size of a number 10 with the mailing information where you want it to print on that number 10 envelope size. Uh, we cannot take a mailing list or a CSV file or anything like that. It needs to be in a PDF format. And I'll show you what that looks like here. Uh, this is my records. See the PDF is the size of a number 10. My mailing information is right where I want it to print on the envelope when all is said and done. You can see that I've got 100 different records here and uh, they're all different as far as mailing addresses go. So that's my variable piece. My static piece, I'm going to have two of them. One is just going to be the a regular number 10 background. It's going to have a little header here for address and logo and an indicia. I'm also going to add another piece to that. It's just this little uh, logo here. So the first thing we want to do is come down to our VDM image input. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop our two static pieces into this workflow. So I'm going to grab my two static pieces drop them both into this workflow and you'll see them pop up here uh, and then disappear because we don't need them in the workflow anymore. Once part of this workflow basically is creates the images, creates a low res image for viewing and then create, puts them in our image library so that it can be used later on. We don't need them in the workflow. The second part of this system is our VDM merge workflow, which is where I'm going to drop my variable data PDF. So I'm going to drop this on here. You see it's going to get to this merge icon. I've got to pause after it. It doesn't get there. It's going to pause. Then I'm going to open up this this piece in my graphic editor and we can do the merge. So I'm going to select, highlight the job. I'm going to right click on that job and I'm going to say open in graphic editor right down here. And it's going to open up my web browser and it's going to be my little uh, merge program here. So you'll see that I've got my my variable pieces here with a shadow going around it to show exactly what size it is. And up here is my image library and those are my two pieces in my image library. Now if I've got more image is in my library that I need or I don't want to be bothered with them, if I select it it's going to pop right in there or I can select right there and I can delete it if I want to. Now you'll notice that if the image of the static and the image of the variable are the same size, it's going to pop in at zero, zero. So I don't have to move it around. I don't have to scale it. I could if I wanted to, but on this, I'm not going to. But on this piece here, I can drag that piece in and you can see how it's a little bit too big. It's covering up some of the text. So if I just select that, that uh, image, you see this little blue dot here that comes down to the bottom. I can then scale up, scale down, whatever I need to do. I can then move it around where I want it to go. Okay. And then I can just hit this merge button right here. It's going to do that merge. It's going to close out that program. Now it's in the workflow. It's running that merge. It's running. It's putting those images on all 100 pages of that document. Now it's already finished. I don't have to print anything to look at it to make sure I'm happy with it. What I can do is I can toggle these windows open, toggle the merge open, and I can open up this ac this uh, PDF in Acrobat, and I can view what it did. So here you see the PDF. Here you see my static images, and you see my mailing. And you see the only thing that's changing is the mailing address. Now the Nice thing about the VDM merge is that's technology that's built into the RIP as well. So the RIP's going to look at each one of these pages. It's going to see what is the same and doesn't change. It's only going to RIP these images one time. 
And the only thing that's going to rip on the other 99 pages is this area right here, just the text. So it's going to rip very, very fast, very, very efficiently. So that we're always going to rip faster than the printer can print. We'll always be ahead. So the printer's never going to be waiting on information that when we use the variable data merge. Okay, that is variable data merge.